first, I want to thank for introduce me and Dorothy. You know, right? She is from the school. Yeah. She invites me to come here and they want to give you some lecture and also show how to make some art. So I hope you will learn some Chinese history, culture, and art. I really enjoy work with my dear friend Wang, who created music because they inspired by my paintings. In you know, China has a very long history of many wonderful inventions, art, culture, and many people think about very cute print bears, right? People think about yeah, China, and also Tai Chi. Everybody know the Tai Chi? Yeah. Yeah, Tai Chi is actually come from a Gong Fu, right? Exercise, yeah, I do Tai Chi. Okay. <laughs> so because exercise, even yeah, next time you come, I will show how to do Tai Chi. Okay, if you have, yeah. And also Silk Road was the highway from Europe to Asia, and many people know about Marco Polo from Italy. Do you know the Marco Polo? Okay, good. Do you know the speckly noodles come from China? And also spices. Okay, so the China has many beautiful landscapes, okay, mountains like Zhangjiajie, the Guini, and also the Great Wall is not the sim symbol of China. They build the wall, try to keep, uh, yeah, for, yes, and uh, come off. Oh, you know the history, good. But we have the non live together, right? China is beautiful, right. but I still want to come to the United States to paint in my story because I don't have the freedom to tell my story to paint in the truth. And because uh, as an artist, you must have the freedom to express yourself, to paint the story from your inside your soul, right? So then, so that's the reason I come to United States. Just let it know, my story has a lot of a sad part, you know, sad parts. My hope for you, what life gives you name is, what? Maybe. Yes, first, I painted my story and write my book, Diary of Dragon's Daughter. They have 500 images in this book. So I explore the relationship between from my personal story because it's all about my family story and Chinese history and the fun art. So these paintings are in my book. This painting, they surround the window and me of the talk face and my mother, my father, all my members, my families. I believe everyone in here has a family story to tell about the journey to America. I encourage you, you know, to ask your parents, your grandparents, tell me what is your story. So maybe you're so surprised when you find out. So later, so later, I would want to ask you to how to create one piece of art about your family story. I was born in New China and our leader Decay, so everyone born in New China, you have a very beautiful life. But what the year was born in a huge farm. So this for telling me my life was not beautiful, like male. You guys know what is relief? Relief also we call sculpture, right? So relief is 2D. You only can see it in the front. So what is about sculpture? Sculpture you can see around, right? You can see my back, you can see the left, the right, right? So this relief also is a sculpture, it's myself, it's called, it's sculpture, but it's called relief. It's about my, I was the baby, my mother's hands, very soft hold me, come to the new world. My father was delivered me. I was so lucky he was a doctor. My father was a trainer in both Chinese and Western medicine. He believed in real speech, the government never hear capitalist and took his business, everything we owned. If you're an educator, teacher, you're not good during this time in China. When I was a very little girl, my father always hide and the blanket to listen to the voice of American. Do you know voice of American? The video? You know, right? Oh, you know, good. And my father wanted to find the truth. What happened in China? You know, we're living in like hell, you know. For me, as a little girl, I thought my father played the game. I want to play the game with my father. My mother, my grandmother hold me like stone. Don't follow, you know, so danger. If, you know, government find out, we send my father with the prison again. Because my father was in the prison 
So you also did know when one hired my mother. Found my mother, found a job. Got a job is transporting, building my tears. I was still here, use hand drag. Very hard. When I was like eight years old, my brother and I was, we were always waiting here, have my mother push the wagon up here. My brother and I will still remember there. So in China, we have so many movements, the revolutions. So this is one movement is called Great Chinese Film. Millions, millions of Chinese died from starvation. We don't have food. I was always hungry. And my grandma and my mother sold everything they had and tried to get a little bit of food for us. One day at dinner time, I remember, we have a little bit of meat. Taste just a little bit of bacon. And I had to eat, ask my grandma, do you have more? My grandmother said, I just caught a little small mouse. I hope you never hang hungry to eat a mouse, right? Do you understand what I say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I put a picture of mouse in here. So make sure you understand it's a mouse. This painting is about my father, what I call triptych. Why call triptych? Why call triptych? You guys know? You have three paintings together called triptych. One, two, three. They separate. Triptych. So first the painting is my father was in the prison and the doubtless of his life. Not whole. The second painting, my father come back to home during the Chinese Cultural Revolution. During this time, you have a lot of people, students join the Red Cross. They always have a conference and the porter, like my father, outside of the punch. This is my father, my father, and how to end his life. In China, it's 1966, all school closed, almost 10 years, all school closed, not class. And what do students do? Punish the teachers, they burn the books, can I say now? This there. They burn everything. And then you can say students only study Mao. Do you know that they got Mao? Mao is a dictator in China. They only study Mao's book and about how to fight each other, discrimination each other. And then students use wood, make a gun. That's how they went to school. And if you're an educated teacher, they will give you trouble. But 1966, eight, Mao said, you cannot learn from school. Let the students go to farm to learn from a farm, poor farm. What to learn? The farmer, even not a farm, doesn't know how to write a name. The hot lake camp. My brother sent to the farm. He found a very difficult life. So this is a little bit about the Chinese history. Okay. I was the factory. I was 14. 14 years old, I was wider. And I was 15 years, I left the home to work in another countryside for the project. Only place I can stay is work, like all the temple. So I painted this painting because I always afraid. Every night, I hear the wind blow. I feel the ghost outside. For many years, you know, I could not just get the feel out of my mind. Finally, I painted this painting. You don't like the mind to trick me. I play piano, painting, That's like so therapies. I received my education in hiding. Because I made my colleagues, they're educated, they're doctors. They taught me in hiding. Even they write the book, they got this hand writing book. They taught me, never give up my dream. And also I started violins. Violins also is capitalist. Everything book is capitalist. Music is capitalist. You cannot have it. Only you can study is just a mouse book. When I was 16, I worked the factory. The factory was the church. They changed the church in the factory. So all my colleagues, they are professors and the teachers. My story just really like Anne Frank's story. Everybody know Anne Frank? Mm -hmm. You know, how many you know? Oh, good, you have to know. You know, Anne Frank wrote a diary, right? About Jewish died during this time, right? And my story is told how many people died in China. It's much more, more people died in China in four years. Four years from 1958 to 1962. We have over 45 million 
Chinese style. So it's much, much more. Why I painted the story? Because I wanted people to learn the history, not repeat. So I did a sculpture for Mao. The sculpture is Mao have one eye is open. Look at the enemy. He try to catch the enemy. Keep his power. One eye is full. He doesn't see how many Chinese died because of Mao. Anyway, Chinese Cultural Revolution ended after his death, 1976. Everyone know how about the Wen Chao Palace? Wen Chao Palace? You, you know, you know what things, you know what, okay. Power in Chinese culture, many men don't want girl, don't want a boy. Because for many reasons, one, discriminate the girl, and also you only have one child. So if you have a second child and the government will take everything you have. And the farms will take your house, everything. I did this painting is part of my own life. Because my husband, my ex-husband was tricked me and my daughter as second citizen. Painting the story how to show me in the middle of the night, taking my daughter to the, the hospital. I write a lot of my personal experience and my personal story. There were many, many times I was very discouraged and there was hope. But always someone went there to encourage you never give up dream. This painting is called I Want to Be Known. Because I went to the mountains, I want to be the known. I feel life so difficult. Monk, talk to me now. We never gave up your dream. So I want to show some painting. It's not about the Cultural Revolution, not about the Chinese Revolution. It's about a different culture, about three inch feet. In China, in, during this time, if your family is very rich, have a lot of money, the children will be getting bound the feet for three inches, this nuns. Three, only for rich family, okay? And the bound of the feet, like this. The beginning start the process when they're three years old. So painful. This is my grand grandmother. She was from a rich family. She had a food banding, and she had a very sad life and a story. Because your food banding, you cannot walk, okay? You cannot walk. You have the servants help you. But all the grandmother, the parents would breathe. You love to not give a food bank. If the education has the board, but the, the society did not accept my grandmother because she has normal feet. They got big feet. You cannot have big feet. We call my feet is big feet. Okay, you all have big feet. This called normal feet. Only she had found a very not good husband. Drink, lazy husband. We, the parents were so sad and they passed away and she ran away and found good my grandfather. So this painting is called by my daughter. Dreams come to life. My daughter comes in the United States with me in 1999. She finished two master's degrees in the United States and a PhD. And then right now she's a professor at the college. I have two beautiful red sun. I did a sculpture for one grand son. There's a sculpture. This sculpture you can see around. That's a cool sculpture. I wanted to show you how different the styles and the medium of art. So this painting is called realistic painting. What is a realistic painting? Realistic. It shows like a picture of what's happening right now. Like what's happening right now. Exactly. He said what happens at the moment. Oh, what has moment? Good, you good. I want to give you credit. You answer questions. In the moment, you can be realistic, or you can be realistic. In the moment in real life. If you paint in real life, you also equal naturalism, realism. This painting is more abstraction. Abstraction, so you can see, I did the abstraction, still same the painting. I make the ball so big. Realistic painting is more look like real and realistic. Abstraction. It's a different style. Look a black hole, soft your life. This is painting is acrylic on the canvas. It's acrylic. Acrylic. It's not oil. And this is oil on the canvas. So this painting is acrylic. This is called clutch. The bows are abstraction. They now the like other realistic. The same story. The window. That's it. Yeah, now right now I want to show you um, how to do abstraction and clutch painting. Use this painting. Okay, come on. We'll do some demo for you.